possessions keep weighing us down. In rain clouds, I move like a quiet storm. No shroud, stand proud, why should I conform? Beyond the norm, I exceed the hype. Beyond all the in the stereotypes. So this in your stereo, this is my life. On a day so dark. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday, now it gets to explode here in the ring. Leonard's making his way to the ring right now, puffing out his chest, glaring with those eyes, and taking a big stride to his destination of glory. Uh, Mayweather's coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen, but they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. In the middle corner, with a record of 36 victories, 25 big knockouts, and three defeats by Will Wilmington, Junior! Across the ring, coming out of Grand Rapids, Money Mayweather. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Teddy, what are your expectations? What do you think we're going to see out of Sugar Ray tonight? Well, you're going to see what you always see to a certain extent. Blinding ability. Just great talent. You know, he has power, he has speed. You know, and a lot of times when you see that, you think about the head. You know, a lot of those guys that are real speed merchants, like Sugar Ray Leonard, they go right upstairs to that top. But he pays attention to the body. Don't be surprised if you see some body work. In a matchup like this, Teddy, with a power puncher against a fast fighter, who has the advantage the longer the fight goes on? Well, almost always it's going to be the power guy because he's not going at a fast rate. He's saving himself. He's placing his punches. The quick guy, he's letting it all go. Leonard's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Scored well up top. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. He needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Zones in on that overhand right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Come on, get focus. Mayweather's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. He's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. 
Leonard's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And we come to the end of round number one. Money's probably sitting back right now saying, hey, I got everything figured out. Coming off of a sensational round you just saw, he was able to do some serious damage to his opponent. Yeah, you know what really did it was that left hook to the liver, that body shot. You know, that's like going into a restaurant, you get a stain on your jacket, you know, and the stain just doesn't come out. <laughs> you know, you go to your cleaners, it's still there. Those body shots, they don't come out. They stay with you round after round, and they keep doing damage. They keep paying off for you. He's got the benefit of that body work going for him. Here we go. Round two is underway. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard's rocked by a huge... He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Nice work by Money. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Blocks that belt line well. Money's sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counter punch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. Leonard's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land. But this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Flush right hand to the body. Sugar Ray Leonard comes from a bit of a fighting family. His brother Roger was also a pretty accomplished amateur and a fighter. Yeah, you know, it always helps when you come from a family that was boxing because that means that you're familiar with all the things that you need to be familiar with. You're comfortable in that kind of setting, that it's been part of your life. It's part of your bloodline. Keep doing what you're doing. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Well timed by Sugar Ray Leonard. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Sharp and accurate one-two by Sugar Ray Leonard. Three minutes gone by in this round. Money's grasp of real estate is something special. Look how he just stays on the outside early on in this fight and is able to find his target. Well, you're right, Joe. It's prime real estate for him. I mean, he's in the neighborhood he wants to be on the outside. Considering the fact that in the last round, 
He got tagged hard. He looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. That was not well targeted by Money. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand, a real solid shot. Leonard throwing a lot of punches, but he's also creating a lot of room for his opponent. Yeah, he is, and he's also walking straight in. His opponent was a little bit mobile. He's going to be able to step to the side as he walks in and get a clean shot. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Can't work in the body! Leonard's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Committing up top now, he goes there again. Mayweather's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Sugar Ray Leonard's right hand scores well that time. Big left from Leonard. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Able to land the hook to the head. He missed with that head shot. Good effective work with that straight right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Leonard's lacking any control right now. I still think he's not fully recouped from being hurt earlier, yet he's on an offensive assault. Yeah, this is not confidence, but this is desperation. Basic but beautiful. Jab right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Leonard's punch didn't come close. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Don't fight his fight. Dab and move. Where's your body work? It's the body. Start of round number four. Easy scorecard to put together. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Money's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Just like that. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Leonard's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Pace yourself. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sugar Ray Leonard. He's tired. Head movement. Head movement. 
Everybody found so much out about Sugar Ray Leonard on that night back in 1981 when he came up with the 14th round TKO of Tommy the Hitman Hearns. Remember Dundee that night? Remember Angelo Dundee in the corner of Sugar Ray Leonard? Yeah, he said, you're blowing it, kid. And of course, he was right and he responded to that. Sugar Ray Leonard in that fight, he had to deal with two fights. You know, early on he was dealing with Tommy Hearns, this real big guy, this puncher. He had to box a little bit. And then later on, Hearns got hurt, started moving. And then Leonard had to be the executioner. He had to all of a sudden go after the guy that he thought he was gonna be boxing all night. Not an accurate hook at all. Leonard's, oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. He's tired. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. This son, okay, look. Listen. I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. He's gotta find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down, he was on the canvas. Now look, he wants to tie his opponent off, that's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Leonard's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land more. Yeah, he needs to calm down and Keep think on. more. Keep This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. It's over. The fight is over. Mayweather's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. But where knockouts? power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory and it begins the next night the next dawn the dawn of the new beginning more money knockouts bring money for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore have yourself a great night